salesman. I was talking to the president of a manufacturing firm in Wisconsin just last year, and he was talking about a salesman who had joined the company, and the salesman, they were not sure whether or not he was going to do very well, but within six months, he was the top salesman for the company in the whole country. And they asked him, how is it you went in less than six months in this field, you never sold in this industry before, and you became the top against people who've been in it for 10 or 15 years with established clientele and everything. He said, I ascribe it to just one thing that I do every day. He said, when I get in my car, I drive along on my way to my first call, and I just say over and over, I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best salesman in this company. I'm the best salesman in this industry. I'm the best. And he just keeps saying that over and over again in this country, in this company, in this industry. And he says, and before I go into every sales call, I sit out there in the car, I say, I'm the best, I am the best, I am the very, very best, I am the best in this business, I am an outstanding salesperson. And then he says he gets a clear mental picture of himself relaxed and confident and calm and self-assured and cool. And he sees the prospect responding to him positively, confidently. He gets that mental picture, and when he goes in, he just exudes confidence. He's just relaxed. And he went from zero to the top in the country in six months. I only mention this as a story because it's true. But the other thing is that all top salespeople do it, and all poor salespeople do not. Poor salespeople primarily, you know how they sell? They walk into the prospect's place of business, and they say whatever falls out of their mouth. They don't think about it in the car. In the car, they listen to that music that's pounding in their ears, and when they get there, they walk into the place, and the first thing they say is the first thing that falls out of their mouth. And when they get an opportunity to see a prospect, again, they say the first thing that falls out of their mouth. 95% of salespeople wing it. Now, let me ask you a question. If you wanted to compete in a sports event, competition level, would you ever think of going into that sports event without warming up? Would you just think of getting out of your car and going straight into competition? Not in a thousand years, would you? When we go into selling in a highly competitive industry, we need to go through mental warm-up too. We need to prepare ourselves. We need to rev ourselves up psychologically. We need to say, I like myself. I like myself. I'm good. I'm the best. I'm a great salesman. I'm going to have a great day today. This is going to be a great call. It's going to be a great presentation. And we need to see ourselves as successful. We need to just be so excited. So when we go in there, what happens is we just have a totally different attitude about us. And remember, how we feel about ourselves comes off us in electromagnetic waves and affects everybody around us. It affects them in either a negative or a positive way. If we feel great about ourselves, you'll find people just brighten up and smile when you walk in. And if you feel negative or unsure about yourself when you walk in, people, oh, geez. You've all had this experience, haven't you? When you feel great about yourself, things seem to go smoothly. And when you feel poor about yourself, you seem to have more and more problems. So it's very, very important that we prepare ourselves psychologically. And visualization is the very best way to do it. See yourself as the best in your field. See yourself as the very best in your industry. See yourself as a top money earner. See yourself in the top 5% in sales. Whenever you see somebody who's really making a lot of money, you say, I'm going to be like that, and I'm going to be better. I'm going to do even higher. You see a person driving a brand new Mercedes, you look at that, and you say, that's for me. That's where I'm going. That's the direction I'm going in. You keep thinking that, and by some remarkable gravitational power, it starts to act as a directional force, and you start going in the direction of your predominant thoughts. Well, number seven is confidently expect to succeed every minute of every day. Nothing more powerful than an attitude of confident expectation. We know that the very best salespeople confidently expect to be successful. They have this attitude of confident expectation. They're, un they're unshakable. Anybody who's ever been sold by a really professional salesperson, you notice that they're very low-keyed, they're very calm, they're very relaxed, and they have absolute confidence. And the more confident they are, the more uneasy we become. You ever had this experience where we go in to buy something and the salesman comes up, he's very friendly, they're always very polite, they're very low-keyed, they're very interested in what it is that we need or require, they ask a lot of questions, and at a certain point in the sales conversation, after you've given all the usual things that other people give you, well, I can't really afford it, and I'm just looking around today, and I'm not really in the market, and I'd have to check this with somebody else, and they think, you, you give all these different things? And the person says, yes, yes, uh-huh, I understand, and just goes on talking, and at a certain point, you get that sinking feeling that you're in trouble. Oh, geez. And now you know when you're really in trouble when you start thinking, how cheap can I get out of this? How little can I spend and still get out of this? And when you've made the purchase, you go away feeling great. You ever notice that? You, feel, you don't go away with buyer's remorse wondering, oh, geez, I hope I haven't made a mistake. When you've bought something from a professional, when you've been sold by a professional, you feel great about the purchase. You feel happy about it. You feel that you've bought something 
from someone who cares about you, someone who's friendly to you. As a matter of fact, you look forward to seeing that person again, don't you? You look forward to buying from them again. Isn't that true? This is the whole essence of professional selling, and it all starts with what's going on inside. Once we have everything going on inside right, everything else outside will be just fine.